vulgarity on it. Yeah, what is the vulgarity? I have enough reason to stop me. Yeah, yeah, what is so, the vulgarity? The, the F word. Yeah. Fire, Frank up church on the school board? So why didn't you put fire? That doesn't it doesn't fire. say anything. I'm you not giving you ID means. for peacefully protesting. I'm not, I'm not stopping you from peacefully protesting. That's fine. What's I didn't your name say and badge you number? 2942 J. Brown. I give it to Okay. That's, that doesn't scare me. But that, that I'm not trying to scare you. I want you to identify yourself. Okay. My I name is... Now, now it's your turn. My name is Jeff Gray. Yeah. My date of birth is. Uh, do I, why do I need to show you that? Why do I need to tell you? That? Am no, I, I suspected? Okay, I, I have to identify one. Wait, I have to know what I'm talking about. My name to. is Jeff Gray. Jeff Gray. What's your date of birth? Am I suspected of a crime? Yeah. Am I being detained? Yeah. For what reason? Because I'm, I'm talking to you. I have, I don't, I have no talk desire to talk to you. They, they want me to check you for your. That, that's, their, that's none of their business. Okay. Listen. This, I'm not this, telling this, you. Listen, my, listen, I'm, I've listen. given you. I've this, given you everything. This could have easily been done a long time ago because obviously you're not getting you're, my name. The F, the F the star star is, is perfectly fine, but I have to identify who I'm talking nope. to because I have my name is Jeff Gray. I've already identified myself. Have a nice day. All right. Am I free to go or am I being detained? Uh, you're not being detained. Okay. To see you later. Hey, hold on. Come here. I want to talk to so you. So I am being detained. Sure, you're being detained. Okay, you well, have I, I have nothing to say to you. Do you have some sort of ID? Uh, you, you and I know very well that I'm not required to show you ID, all right? Why not? Well, that's the law here in Michigan. Okay, put the phone down, please. No, this is this here, sir, is for my safety, all right? Okay. I'm not going to do anything to resist you, but I know, I know the law. I know my rights. I'm not legally required to show you my ID. Okay, when I get called to investigate somebody walking up the street with two guns, all right, in plain view, mm -hmm. I know you're not in violation. Both of legal any, activities, right? I know you're not yep. in violation of any law, right? How do I know that you don't have a mental injunctive order? Or something like <laughs> well, that? Well, that's not your that's not your decision to make. It's absolutely. It, it's my your decision. job to uphold the laws here of the uh, the state of Michigan. Listen, man, what's your problem? I just need to see your ID real quick. My right? problem is that I'm doing nothing illegal, all right. So you just stated that your your reasonable cause for um, stopping me was that I have two sidearms. Will you please sidearms? get the camera out of my face? Get the camera out of my face. I'm not going to turn the camera the... down. No, I'm I'm not going to stop uh, video. This is this is for my safety. All right, why don't we walk right in front of my car? There's a video. That's camera fine. Going we'll go right over there. I haven't down. I haven't done anything illegal. I'm not making any any uh, you know threatening motions. I'm just heading down to Redbox to get a DVD, right. exercising my right. constitutional rights. Right in front of my car. There's a camera on right there. Okay. You can put your camera down. I'm not going to turn my camera off, put sir. Put your camera down. I, it's my First Amendment right to videotape this interaction, and this is for my safety. Oh, it's, it says in the First Amendment that you're allowed to videotape it. Yes. Okay. Because how can I not express my opinion if I'm not allowed to gather information? You know the laws just as well as I do, sir. You should know them better than I do. All right, I'm not making any threatening motions. I'm just... I'm standing up for my rights. I, if uncooperative means that I'm standing up for my rights as a United States citizen, then very well. I simply said that I, I do not consent to any search. Okay. You're all set. You Thank want, you, sir. You don't want to give us your idea? I don't. Go. Have a good day. Hello. Hello. Hey, so the post office called and they asked you to leave? Um, I was never asked to leave. That's what they're telling me. They asked you to stop filming and they wanted to trespass you. Well, they said I couldn't film, but they never asked me to leave. Okay, and well, I they they want to trespass camera. you at this time. They don't want you to come back here. They don't want you on their property. I was never asked to leave, but I will leave now. Okay. So I'm going to need some ID much. from you, though. So I can um, trespass one. you. So I can trespass you. I need to know who you are and they need to know who you are. So they Trespassing can their... warrants knowingly entering a place that I know that I cannot go right. and remaining We're going to fill there. out some paperwork saying that you're trespassed, though, and I need to have your information so they can keep that on record so they know that you're not allowed to come back here again. But this is a public area. I'm allowed to film in the area that I was filming in according to the not, U.S. Postal have, Regulations. You don't have the right to disrupt business is what you were doing. I wasn't disrupting business. According to them, you were. I wasn't. Okay. And I have it all on camera. Okay. Well... Officer, at, at, Officer Taylor. Taylor. So at this point, I need some ID from you, okay? Um, I have not committed a crime. You have not at this point, but you're being trespassed. So if you, you have told me I'm not committing a crime. Therefore, I do not have to identify myself according to Washington State law. For me to State trespass law. you, yes, I, I have to have ID. I need to know who you First, are. First, I have to be asked to leave, and then okay. I have to knowingly remain on the property in order to be trespassed. I was okay. never asked to leave. Okay. Well, I they're was telling, being asked they're right telling now by different. you to leave. They're telling me So different. I will leave. They're telling me different. Well, I'm sorry, but 
it's one person's word against the other and I have unobjective video evidence right here. Okay. So is there a reason why you don't want to identify yourself? I do not have to. Well, you do. I have not point. committed a crime. Okay. You well, just you're told me I had right not now. committed a crime. You're trespassing. I'm interacting with a public official who is telling me to leave, and I have not said I wouldn't leave. Okay. Well, they asked you according according to my call. They asked you to leave and stop filming, and you have left. They just said that I couldn't film, okay. and I asked them to point out the regulation saying that I couldn't film because I know for a fact that you can film in public lobbies in U.S. Postal Service locations. Okay. And I know for a fact in the state of Washington, according to RCW 66.04.010, I think that's 010, that it is considered a public space where I'm at right now. And you are asking me to leave, and I have not refused to leave. So I'm well, going to Well, according to them, leave. they told me that they asked you to leave and to stop filming. And you're they still only on the asked me here. to stop filming. They said I couldn't film in a federal facility, even though their rules for this U.S. Postal Office says that I can film in the public lobbies and foyers. And I never said I wouldn't leave. I never said that, uh, oh, look, another cop. Yep. But I have never committed a crime here. I haven't, okay. you just well, told they, me I had not committed you, a if crime. If they ask you to leave and you're still on the property, you are committing a crime. They did not ask me to leave. Well, that's leave. what they're telling me, okay. Well, they so. lied and made a false repeat, false report. Okay, well, how do I know, at this point, I need how to go talk to them. How do you know I'm them. lying? Well, you haven't been terribly cooperative with me to begin with. Well, I don't have to identify myself if I'm not committing a crime. Okay, well, you're being trespassed, so you do need to identify yourself. How am I being trespassed if I We're did gonna not We're going to fill out some paperwork today saying that you're was... trespassed from this facility because the uh, manager here wants you trespassed. Um, I was never asked to leave. I will willingly leave right now, okay. but... All right, but um, I still I need, need to be I'm going to do trespass paperwork on you, crime. So. An actual crime. Well, I, I don't commit. I don't convict anybody of a crime. Well, I need to be. That's like, the courts. That's the courts. You need uh, reasonable, doing. articulable suspicion that I have committed a crime in order to identify me, and you have not given me that. Okay. Well, if they tell me they ask you to leave and you're still on the property, you're now committing a crime. Well, I'm leaving now. I'm it interacting doesn't matter. with the public leave, official right leave. now. I show up here. You're still here. You're they did not a crime. ask me to leave. They're telling me otherwise. So you are going off of word alone and not actual like evidence. You're still on the property. Well, I am talking to you. I would willingly walk over to the exit right now. Hello, Officer Hi, how are you? Rampa. Uh -huh. Okay. And Officer Taylor, I will willingly leave now. Okay. But you, you see, understand what I'm trying to do. They're, they want yeah, to you're trying to you. get me to admit to a crime that no, I'm, I'm not I'm admit. trying to identify you so we can fill out trespass paperwork today. Well, I have not been asked to leave by any but employee But according to here. them, they have asked you to leave. Well, according to me, they didn't ask me to leave, okay. and well, I have this time I'm evidence. just going to detain you, okay? So For give this, crime? go ahead. What? For, For trespassing crime. at this point, until I talk um, to them. You, you are not allowed to, my to stop you can give my, this to my partner. video recording. You can give this to my partner. There we go. Um, Put your hand behind you. your back. I have not committed a crime. Can you tell me what crime I have committed? We've already talked about that. Right now you're just being detained. You're not under arrest. You're being in order detained. to be for what crime? What are trespassing? How did I commit trespass if they I was you, not asked to leave? They asked you to stop filming and they asked you to leave. And you're um, still no, they didn't. On the property and you're, and you're claiming that without. Okay. You have any weapons on you? Hell no. No. Okay. Where do I have my ID on me? Okay. What's your name? With? Um. First, I need to know why I'm being detained. I told you that like three or four times already. You are claiming that I've been Okay, well, asked let, to let me, I'm going to have you have a seat in my vehicle and then I'm um, going to go in there and talk to them, okay? You are not to stop that video recording or alter it in any way. Have a seat there for me. I have not consent to search and seizure. I have not committed any crime. And you have yet to let me know what crime I have actually committed. I've told you three or four times now. You're just not listening. I was not asked to leave. Well, they're, 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 telling, they're telling me that you were. Well, I'm telling you I wasn't. Okay. Well, let me video. let me go in there and figure it out. But still, too. but still, even if uh, even if you were, I'm allowed to film. Mm -hmm. Good. What was the last name? Corporal McGilvery. McGilvery. County Sheriff's Office. Do you have a badge number? It is four zero one five. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Just curious, do you need anything or is there any problems? No, he came out and asked me, I asked him a question and then he turned around and called you guys. Okay. So. Are you, are, are you on your way out then or? Uh, I'm going to be here as long as I need to be. Can I get your name and badge please? Sure. Name and badge then? 
My name is right here. I don't know how. To, oh, your name's right here. Hi, officer, right here. Pictures. How you doing, brother? Officer, right here. You have uh, any identification on you? Uh, I don't answer questions, sir. Uh, okay. Well, we need to find out who you. No, are. you absolutely don't. I'm on public property taking pictures. Right. So you have it's, no right suspicious. to know who I am. Suspicion, suspicion is not a crime. You can't. Suspicion is not a crime. And you're out in front suspicion of Suspicion is not a crime, sir. Taking pictures. Hey, you go talk to the two stripes over there. He didn't have a problem with it, so. Uh, he's not done with you. Uh, hey, you should watch your mouth, okay? Sir, I don't know who you are. You don't need don't to know who I am. You don't need to know who I am. I'm not and you need rude. to stop lying to me. Yeah, you are being rude because you're lying to me. Well, just hang tight. No. Nah. Am, am I being anywhere. detained? Yes, you are being I'm being detained. detained? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. For what? What crime? You are being Reasonable detained. articulate sir, suspicion sir, of what crime? Sir, don't talk to me. Of what crime? Of what you crime? Know it all. I know it all, no. sir. I know the laws. I'm detained, so hang tight. Sir, why am I being detained? And if you Keep walking away. I'm going to the other officer, sir. You don't need to walk towards him. Sir, why, why am I being detained? You're not being detained, so you're free. Ha, boom. Ha. Go now. There you go. Ha, ha. You're detained. Do I not know my laws or what? Yeah. Okay, take Okay, care, keep sir. it moving. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. Could you have him pronounce that for me? Sir, it, it is whatever it is. Sir, you he told me his name is right here, and that's not how you spell right here. However you would say his name. I, dickhead? Do you uh, have anything else you need from us? Absolutely sir? not. I need to have point out these tyrants. That's exactly what I need to do. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, f*** yourself. Him? I was very cordial with him, polite. You? You're a f***ing prick. Yeah, and it's perfectly legal. And you can't illegally detain me for that, sir. Learn. You learn your lesson today? Huh? Huh, officer, right here? How you doing? Did you learn your lesson? I'm up. Yep, Free education for you, sir. I do know the law better than you, idiot. Sergeant Cherry said he'd be over here talking to you in just a little bit, okay? What's up? Our, our sergeant? Okay. He's, uh, he's going to be over here talking to you in just a little bit. He's here. He's actually... All right. You got a business card or anything? A business card? Yeah. Not on me. I can get you one out of my car in a little bit. All right, cool. Do uh, you need my name, badge number? What do you need? Yeah, that's what I was going to... Was, that's what I was going to need, but I can't hear all the highway noise. Okay, so you need all of our badge numbers or... Just yours, and uh, I guess if the supervisor needs to speak with me, I'll talk to him. Oh, he doesn't need to speak to you. I thought you wanted to speak to him. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to him. I mean, if you don't, want, if you don't need to speak to him, then I'll tell him not to waste his time. No, no, he's already here, so I'm not going to waste his time. He's already show over here, so I'll talk to him briefly. Okay. Okay. And like I said, he'll be more than happy to give you anybody's name or badge number that's here. Okay. Um, and if you need business cards or anything like that, you give us a little bit, we'll be able to get you some business cards too if you'd like. No, just yours, that's it. Okay. okay. I, can, I can get you one. Okay. All right, hang tight for me. Do you, have, do you have your information? Your driver's license? What's that? Do you have your driver's license or name dead for For what? Because well, now you're a witness to this crime that we're doing. What crime is that? The crime that we got these people in the back of these cars for. I don't know what crime they committed. You don't have to know. Well, well, okay, well, how do I know what they did, though? I don't know what they did. Okay, they broke the law. They're in possession of narcotics. That's why they're in the back of our cars. Okay, now you're telling me that, okay? Yeah. So, do you have your name in Denver? No. Or a driver's license? No. So, you're going to refuse to be listed as a witness since you're, you sat here and videotaped the entire scene? If you need a copy of the video, I can give you a copy of the video. Well, yeah, but we're also going to need to identify you in our report that you were here videoing, so when we come to get a copy of that video, we can get that. All right, let me talk to your supervisor. He said that he won't want to give us her name, his name or date of birth until he talks to our supervisor. So. And you're probably going to end up going to jail because right now you're witnessing a crime. Well, I asked to talk to a supervisor. He's here, so why can I speak with him? Because you're refusing to give your information, you'll be going to jail for failure to identify as you're a witness to a crime. So I need you're to give you my so I need to give you my ID to speak to your supervisor. Is that what you're telling me? No. Okay, I didn't speak to your supervisor. Why do you need to speak to the supervisor? Because I requested what to speak to him. That? Because I requested to speak to him, and he's here. Okay. So what's your point? He's here. I need to speak with him. He's got. You've got no part you of the scene, him. right? But you, you want can, to speak to our supervisor. You can, you can speak to him. Okay. Yeah, but you'll be in handcuffs. It'll be at the jail. Is that what you want to do? I need to speak to your supervisor. Is that what you want to do? I need do? to speak to your supervisor. Why don't you understand it? You put yourself in this situation right here. You see that? You're on, on private what? property. Private right now. or public? You're on private property right now. Okay, what is that? What does that look like? Do you have permission to be here? Did the owner trespass me? Well, he actually, this guy. He doesn't want you here. This guy actually did Where? tell us he wanted you to leave. That guy right there? So. Tri what's his name? So what's your point? What's, his, what's the guy's name that don't want me here? So do you want to identify yourself so we can list you as a witness to this crime? or? I'm, I'm, I'm just asking a simple question. The guy that you just talked to, he doesn't want me here. Yes. So is he so trespassing? Would you like for me to go ask him to tell you to leave himself? 
Don't you, do you already have that notice? Yes, he told us when he came over here and gave me his business. Then why card. do you have to go ask him then? If you would like for him to tell you himself. He can tell me whatever if, he needs to do. If, you, if, if he you, needs to tell me to leave, I'll leave. Simple as that. He needs to give me a he needs to give me a warning before I before you can trespass me. Well, now in, until you identify yourself, now you're forced to not leave. All right, I need to speak to your supervisor. Okay. What's your name and badge number? Don't worry about it. You'll get it in a minute. What's up, Buck? You guys got the same name plates? Yeah, Deputy yeah. Chelly, three one five. You like that? You got, same the, you got the same name plates? Yeah. Same person or? Yeah, yeah we're, we're the same person. We're all one. He's he's the same person as me. There's obviously two of us standing here, but we're the same people. All right. Must be twins or something. Yep. Yeah, we are. Could be. So why'd you come over here? I don't answer questions. You don't answer questions? I don't. So you just like coming and getting in the middle of crime scenes and filming them? I mean, it probably would have been a good idea to keep walking today. Do you have a car here? Or are you just walking down the road? Are you here to do business? I could. On a property? I could. Okay, you want to come in and look at something then? Yeah, sure. As soon as I'm done here, I can go in and get some information. Okay. What are you looking for? What's that? What are you looking for? Prices and everything like that. Okay. What's going on, man? How's it going? Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, do you mind if I go on your property kind of and talk to him? Or... No, he, can he can hang out here. He can hang out here. Oh, no, no, like, you was... can hang out. He can hang out. No, no, I was asking if we can go over there because of the road noise. I can't, I'm not able to hear you. Oh, well, we're leaving here in a minute anyway. Okay. What's up? All right, so before I leave here, I just need to get his badge number and his uh, or his business card, whatever the case may be. It's Deputy Cameron Chelly, 315 is my badge number. Okay. okay. All right, so my only problem is I was just here. Uh -huh. Y'all can step over here. I don't want y'all to get hit. So I can get your business card. Yeah. Um, but this is what I do. I film what public officials do on public property. I'm a journalist. I gather content for stories. That's good. Cool. Uh, but this officer here was telling me that I had to move back over there. I couldn't stand over there. And I was asking him why. He told me that I, I wasn't allowed to film inside the vehicle here. But I mean, that's that's how that's their privacy too. We got to get their consent to go in. So what makes it any different for you? Well, that's to go in. Yeah. But I'm not going in. I'm just I'm just observing. That's kind of like equivalent to this is his property, but I can't film it because it's okay. on his property. Okay. You know okay. you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It doesn't make sense, and it's not against the law. Okay. So he needs to get educated on that because okay. that's clearly not the case, okay? okay. okay. Now, am I currently being detained here or am I free to go? You're free to go, man. Well, I, I, I'm here. Need, I came all the way from Cane Lake to talk to you. We need to identify him now. Okay. Okay. Right. You need yeah. to identify me? Yes, sir, I do. For? Because you're a witness to a crime and you sat here and recorded the whole crime. I don't know what crime was committed. I told you. Yeah, you, yeah, you told me, but I, I didn't you know. I didn't two, know two beforehand. Two individuals under arrest for possessing narcotics. I didn't see. And then you, you said that the you still wouldn't identify yourself until you spoke to our sergeant. Now you spoke to the sergeant, so I need to get your name and date of birth. So I, I can, can give identify. you a copy of the vehicle. I can give you a copy of the video. I don't need a copy. Of the I can give you a business card. I need card. your identifying information so I can list you, you in the report as a witness. Yeah, you're I, a witness. I don't, right now you're filling the ID as a witness to a crime. Because what crime? What's your first name, man? I know what. What's your first name, sir? I'll give you my first name. It's Philip. Philip. Yes, I'll give you that. Best case scenario, this can be real. That female and that male says that we did something against the law. Eight cops, eight cops against one, one, one person, right? So you know who I would want? I would want the guy who's not even involved in this to be my witness. That's how it works. Like I said, this is what no, I no, do. No, no, that's how it works. That's what we're trying to explain to you. So they need me as a witness. You're, you're part of a. You're part of a, it's. You're part of any type of information that anybody that comes. In. We're gonna have to ID him because he's in our cameras now. Yep. This, yeah, everybody. That's how it works and nowadays. See, and I already got his business card. He already identified himself. So, so he gave his name and date of birth and all that yes, stuff? Yes, I've got it all right I here. said I can go get a business card too. I, I said that. Well, that's fine. But here's the thing. You can't leave until we identify you. He walked up and had it ready. So you can give us your name and date of birth, and then you can you can walk off all you want. But the thing is, is we got to identify everybody now that's a witness to this. He came up. He's in the video of our camera, so now he's identified as a witness. So is he going to be subpoena? He's going to be sent to court? He can be, yeah. He, he can be, just like you can be. Okay. So it's up to the attorneys if they want to subpoena anybody. But you got to understand that all these cars have cameras on them, and they see you standing here, and they're going to be like, well, who's this guy? 
Did he have anything to do with the scene? Well, why didn't y'all identify him? So that, that's what I'm trying to get at. And where where'd you come from? That's not relevant. It's not relevant. No, it's not. So you just how do we know you didn't get out of this vehicle? Yeah, they're gonna be behind, and you're with them, and you walked over. Did you, did you just really from? ask me that? I don't. Did I seriously just ask you that? Is that a serious question? Yeah, it actually is a serious question. Why would you randomly walk up to this and then fail to identify yourself? I already told your supervisor what I do. I'm That's a journalist. Really, I really don't care what you do. It doesn't matter. So, you have a question? Uh, no, I just, I'm just waiting on this business card and I'm out of here. That's it. I gave you, I gave you my name and badge number. I asked for a business card. You said well, you were going to go. I told you I don't, don't have one. We don't, don't have any. We, we, don't, we all don't have any. Man. Okay, what's your name and badge number? My name is Cameron Chelly. My badge number is 315. Okay, thank you. For, all right, I now, like, like I said, I already told you. I'm a journalist. I gather content hey, for fine. stores. That's, that's it. We have no problem with that, man. We just don't like the space. Uh -huh. I don't know. Everybody, I mean, CNN could come down here proper. We wouldn't tell them to leave. I mean, there's no difference just because you have a smaller camera. I don't care. Right. Just don't get, just be careful where you go, okay? That's right. why that's what we're trying to get at. That's, that's fine. I have no problem with you videotaping. I, there's no issue. We don't do anything wrong. And that, okay. that's what I told you earlier. Right. I didn't have a problem with you videotaping. No. Sorry. Am I free to go or am I being tamed? Until you keep your name in it. Hey, Are you going to give him your name and date of birth or not? I'm talking to your sergeant right now. He's, he's not talking to you. He's on the phone. I'm not talking to you either. I'm talking he's, to your sergeant. He, it doesn't matter. Guess what? We both have the same job. He's we'll a higher rank than you. one way or another. He's a higher rank than you. That's why I speak. That's why, this is who I have to speak with. He's here. That's so great. that's who I'm speaking with. That's great. Okay. But I made contact with you before he did. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not sure you're really versed in the law good enough in the fact that you're failing to ID. On request you by will ID or you will not leave here. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to your supervisor part. right now. What would you say your first name was again? What? What'd you say your first name was again? If you told him, I just forgot it. Because I would like to address you by first name. You can address me by sir. Okay. Mr. Whatever so the case may be. Earlier when I spoke to you and I asked you to move back and you refused. Did or did I not tell you that it was okay to film us? And I encourage you to keep filming us. I didn't say you didn't. Okay, Nobody so has a problem with I, you filming. Obviously, y'all guys are like right up in my face right now. Because you injected yourself into the crime scene. I'm not up in your face. If I were up in your face, then you right. would know. You need anything from him? You good? I'm good. Do you, you want, do you want to make the place up the door? Okay. Are you trying to identify the horse? Yeah. All right. Wow. Let's go here. Okay. Uh, not doing anything wrong, and uh, but here's the deal they got a point there. I mean, this your worst case scenario is that your camera would be a part of evidence, but we're not going to go there because I have a camera, I have plenty of cameras going, so I don't need your camera. Now, if something were to happen to where man, we get into a shooting or something or a fight and somebody gets hurt, then you know what? I'm taking your camera because that's so you, so you got to be careful with that in the lot in the future, okay? All right. All right, thank you. All right, man, be careful. So, uh, video, we're two minutes, 40 seconds in. It was really 35 when I was told I was being detained. Okay, sir, do you have any form of ID? Just keep uh, six feet distance, huh? I need, I need your ID, sir. So I can identify you. It's technically you're being detained right now. Because the activity you're doing is suspicious. What, uh, what's suspicious about you're it? You're filming inside of a police station. You're taking pictures of our camera location. That's suspicious activity. Well, I didn't know. I saw you on How's our it going? camera, sir. So, I need your ID, sir. And what's your name and badge number? Right here. Strict badge 3412. Right here. Okay. Now, uh, you said I'm being detained for yeah, suspicious detained activity? For suspicious activity outside Ooh. of a police station. Gotcha. What, what crime is it? Well, we've had a lot of problems with people coming at us, so heightened security. Heightened security, you're gotcha. You're taking gotcha. pictures inside the lobby, and now you're taking pictures of our security cameras and their location, and inside the police station. Well, I'm taking pictures of anything my eye can see. Look, you guys, we got one, two, three, four, five, and another one, six. So what I'm saying is what crime am I being, is it suspicion of? Is there a crime? You're taking pictures of the police. But is there a is, but is there a crime? Suspicion. You have to have facts to go with the reasonable, articulable suspicion. You. What you're doing is suspicious. Activity. This is a First Amendment protected activity. Okay, guys. This officer just bumped into me. What's your name and badge number? What do I do? You I bumped right by. into the back of me. What's your name and badge number? Long 1572. Okay. Long 1572 just bumped into me, guys, aggressively. 
aggressively. Is yes, you did. You bumped into me. This is the fourth time I've asked This is a First Amendment protected activity. You have protected no reasonable suspicion. Detained. What's your reasonable suspicion? Any crime, you would give me your ID. We'll release you with an 849 That's that's not how that works. That's not how the Constitution works. So just, I don't just, have on, to on, give ID. Hold on. I don't have to on. give ID. No, you hold on. You hold on. I, be quiet. So I don't have to give quiet. ID unless I'm being so reasonably this is, this is reasonable, articulate suspicion of a crime of a crime. Boss. You guys are getting a little close. Can you back up, please? No, well, this no is the they're thing, not backing okay? up. We're pretty. You accused me of bumping you. We're both fat guys. We're 250 pounds. Gotcha. Dude. And We're you bumped into the back of me. No, I didn't. I'm, yes, no, you I did. did. You're blocking the sidewalk. I'm trying I'm to. I'm off the side of the sidewalk, guys. You know, you, now you're, you're are all your body cams on, please? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. That's I want to be able to. Re don't worry about it. I want to be able to request them later. Yeah. I'm not committing a crime. You guys have no reason to detain me. This is a First Amendment. Fuck your suspicion. This is a First Amendment protected activity. The Supreme Court has already ruled on this. I can come inside and record. I can record the outside, anywhere in public. Yes, I can. This is a public building. It's a public building. Yes, it is. What? Who owns the? Who owns, that's what I did. That's what I was in the front. I was not in here. Never been in here. I was in the front. Who owns this building? Public, right? I can go in any public lobbies. I can go in any public lobbies, correct? Okay. So what I'm doing actually, this is called a First Amendment audit and you guys are actually failing like a, like crazily failing, right? So what I have is I have the right to come record you. I have the right to come watch you doing your jobs. I have the right to come. I'm looking for good officers who are upholding the constitution i'm not finding any at this point this is a first amendment protected activity i'm supposed to be able to do this without being harassed you guys are harassing me i'm surrounded by one two three four five six police officers seven at the door and the other ones that came through so what is the issue what reasonable articulatable suspicion of a crime do you have tell me you got that i'll give you my id what crime have i committed besides standing out in public recording what crime tell me Tell me, tyrant, tell me, because I know you're a tyrant, I can tell. Tell me, tyrant, you're one too, you're getting real close to me. That's Tupper, guys, badge 4115, Markley 867. Now this officer's real close trying to intimidate me, guys. What are you talking about? Well, give me 849B form. Why are you so close? There is no 849B form right for what? Because I had me you were being detained. Yeah, we're getting to you. So what crime? You you can't detain people in, for suspicious. You were taking photos. Is there a crime? Yes. What's the crime? You're not. The, I'm, I can't trespass in public, and you can't trespass my oh, eyes. I'm I'm perfectly. I didn't stick my phone. I stand it out here. It's all on camera. So I'm I'm fine, but I don't like being harassed. I don't like being harassed, guys. You guys are. You're breathing really hard. I know, cause you guys are harassing me. I'm intimidated. I'm I'm surrounded by a bunch of police officers. Who are trying to demand well for one i can tell you what you're doing wrong you okay, see a cameraman you see a cameraman huh? okay. we're doing a first sure, amendment you're right. protected you're okay. activity you're and you guys okay. are trying to detain you're me hold okay. on you guys aren't trying to detain me you are detaining me no no no, no, no. i got it on camera i'm detained am i not being detained detained you have to give us your right that's not true you have to have reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime you're not you're not you're not you're not this is the I don't have to follow any of that. There's no want. crime. I don't need here. a release form. I'm releasing you. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. You guys can all go back to work. If I'm not committing a crime, if I'm not committing a crime, you guys have no authority over me. Is that true or not true? It's true, correct? I actually have authority over you if I'm not committing a crime. I'm actually above you. You guys are public servants. Yeah, bounce. See you later. Dismissed, guys. Okay. There's no reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime. I think I know a little. I'm, I'm sure you guys can tell by talking to me. I might know a thing or two do, about do you, this, well, right? Do you live in a house or apartment or anything like that? None, okay. of, none of your business. Okay. So okay. you guys can go. You guys are like bad little kids right now. Go back to work. You guys are good. So are you. Okay. Okay. Well, so I'll stand here stay all here. day. <laughs> so this is San Francisco police, guys. Sure. They failed. Failed. This is a First Amendment audit fail, guys. They did not respect my First Amendment right. I've been detained now for 10 minutes. I am detained. You told me I'm detained. We got more police arriving, guys. Here's their sergeant. Well, here's my supervisor right here, sir. Cool.
How's it going, Sergeant? Yeah, how you how doing? Are you? Can I have your name and badge number for the record? It's right here. Follow me, 818. B A L M Y 818. Cool. It's right What's here, guys. There's another What's one right here. What was that? What's your name? Uh, you can call me Good Citizen. So I'm out I here recording. To to you by name. You know my name. I'll give you my first name. I got gotcha, you, but you have to give me your name though, because you're a public servant, and it's in your policy. I've actually read your guys' policy. Well, that's good. So it's in there. Nothing. I'm hanging out. I'm being surrounded now by eight officers. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, eight officers. Why, why, why would you be taking pictures of the inside or filming of the inside of the of the uh, building? Let me ask you a question. Is it illegal? Is it illegal to film in public? Can you trespass my you, eyes? Me, I, I asked you the question first. Why I know, and now I'm returning it with a question because okay, so I don't have to. I don't have to. Yeah, I don't. I don't have to. No, I'm not going to answer okay, any questions. Can you understand why that would be concerning? Negative. You don't? No, because I believe okay. in the, I believe in the Constitution. This is a First Amendment protected how, how, how activity. Supreme Court has ruled on this. How old are you? And Sergeant, you're failing as well, and you are dismissed. Okay. So I'm out here. I'm, oh, you're dismissed, dismissed bud. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, here's the deal. You're, you're dismissed. old enough to understand logic, right? So you're old enough to understand why it would be concerning if someone is possibly gaining intelligence on the building or any any anything like that, right? Looking at the building. And look, trying to look into places where they, a normal, you know, by, uh, uh, bypasser on the street wouldn't necessarily be concerned with. Okay, but the fact that the the, the amount of attention that you're uh, that you guys are to, giving me negatively for no reason, there's okay. no violate. Where's the violation of you're crime? Free to go. I know I am. You guys are also free to go. I won't leave. If I'm free to go, I'm free to stay. I'm hanging out till you guys go back to work. So go back to work, all you, especially her. She's a tyrant. You got a tyrant there. You got a tyrant there. It seems like they learned from you. You're a sergeant. Yeah. You seem like a tyrant. I'm a pretty reasonable you, guy. You guys are kind of all trashy officers. Go back to work. There we go. What are you, a lieutenant? This here is a, is a, this here is a, uh, a release. I don't. I don't need a. I don't need a release. There's no crime. You have, are you a lieutenant? Good job. What's your name? Here, I'm trying to highlight you. Actually, this is Officer Sullivan, guys. Badge number one seven six one. He did the right thing. He did the right thing. He told his officers to get back to work. There's no reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. This is a First Amendment act, protected activity, and there's nothing they can do. There is nothing they can do. I'll take it. We'll take it. We'll book it as evidence. There you go, book it as evidence. And now I'm, and now I'm going right back in the lobby. I'll see you guys in there, huh? Here, let me check these cars. We got, we got, hey, Lieutenant, this officer purposely smashed into the back of me too, and I have it on camera as well. So there's going to be a complaint, por complaint form against Wong. He's a piece of trash. That cop, hey, you're a piece of trash. Matter of fact, I'm going to hang out with you. You're all right. What are you doing on the phone? Uh, I was going to take your picture of the police report. Suspicious Look at all these guys, guys. These are some fucking tyrants. They were right about San Francisco, man. Holy shit. Uh, Lieutenant, this is a, you know what I'm doing, right? This is a First Amendment audit. You guys just failed. You guys just failed. Your officers were within six inches, 12 inches from me. I can be close now. But let me ask you a question. Is there anything by, by law saying I can't stand wherever I want? Yes, yes. There's nothing by law. So now the lieutenant's failing. I can be as close to you as I want. There's no law. There, you were. All your cops were. What do you mean? You guys are trash. I'm trying to highlight good officers, and you guys are acting like pieces of trash, especially you. It doesn't matter. You did it. I can do it. It's legal. I can stand next to all you guys, and I'm gonna. So you're dismissed, all you guys. Fucking trash.